big games and stuff out of it. I remember, bro, maybe 2012. I mean, think about it now. This is 2023. You're talking 11 years ago. Um, and I hadn't heard from you then. Maybe in like 2012, I had, what, six years in prison already. Um, and I hadn't heard from I think the last time I had talked to you, you were in Atlanta in college. Mm-hmm. And... Um, and I remember y'all was having a real bad time, like, where I didn't know if I wanted to live anymore, like, because how you live in a place of design to make you weak, mm-hmm. design to make you feel inferior, design to make you hate people to look like you. Like, this is a a complete, you know, a cultural withdrawal further than what we already don't know our own culture would be, so... And I remember getting your letter, bro, and I still got all the there. And and I looked at it, I mean, it, it took me a while, and I'm looking at the name, like, well, this can't be like, bro. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, God sent me the letter, like, man, like I'm going through a real rough time, and I'm like, everything is uncertainty, me and my family really not talking, but I'm in what we call a prison called Bit Mode, right? Mm-hmm. Bit Mode is when you distract yourself from all the outside noise because you can only focus on it because this is what they call gladiator school. This is the lion's den. This is where the wolves reside. This is where the killers, the wolves, the drug dealers are. Whatever they call that stuff, right? So I'm sitting on the end of my bed, bro. And I'm hoping to let her read. And you're like, yo, I've been trying to get in contact with you years and years. I'm a little doctor. My family is not going to be reaching back like they're supposed to. And I just felt like, damn, there's somebody in this world. The kid don't be. It's hard, man. People don't understand. Like, man, our own people support where we at right now. Yeah. The, the prison industrial complex. Our people mm-hmm. supported this in the 90s. It's another thing, man. Our people vote Democrat just because, you know, it sounds good. Mm-hmm. Great Malcolm X once said, man, I don't vote Democrat or Republican because both of them sold us out. So we ain't really looking at that. We're not looking at what these people lobbying and what they say when they mean, I'm going to be tough on crime. They don't know that that means I'm going to be tough on niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Because our people aren't, our people aren't that informed as we pretend to be. We think if we went to school and got a degree that that means that now we know all. Mm-hmm. 